Okay, how hard is it being a wife and a mother? Mm. Uh, it's challenging being a wife and a mother. It's very challenging being a wife and a mother. It's a paradox, and paradox are when two opposites are true, okay? And, to, and I've learned that it, my life is full of many, par you know, of, of much mm -hmm. paradox, right? So being a wife and a mother is probably the mo one of the most extraordinary experiences and the most fulfilling experiences in my life. But at the same time, it has been very difficult to balance being able to do the things that I want to do and have the freedoms that I want to have and also being responsible for you and your brothers and your father. And I'm constantly, every day, trying to figure out that balance, figuring out how to help you fulfill your dreams, which your dreams are changing right now, right? At the same time, assisting daddy in his dreams, assisting your brothers in their dreams, and then trying to figure out what my dreams are. You know what I mean? So every day when I wake up in the morning, I go into meditation and I ask for guidance from the powers, the intangible powers, and I get focused. I think about what does Willow need today? Okay, let me check that off, Make handle that. What does Jada need today? What does Daddy need today? And okay, Jada, before the day is done, you better make sure that you take care of yourself. And that's a new thing for me. When you and Jada were first born, I had forgotten how to take care of myself because you guys were my world. You guys were my everything, you still are but I have forgotten how to do that. And at the end of the day, the one thing that I always want to tell you, Willow, and the reason why you always have to be in communication, especially with me, your family, your grandmother, your father, your brothers, your friends, the people who love you, you have to understand that life is a journey. Communication creates partnerships, mm. okay? That we are here to assist you that we can't, we can't make your life for you and we can't help you with the things that we don't know. And that you always have to remember to take care of you first and foremost. Because when you stop taking care of yourself, you get out of balance and you really forget how to take care of others. And I think that we've been taught that Taking care of yourself is a problem. And I'll tell you something about being a mother and some of the messaging that we get in this country about being a mother, that you have to completely sacrifice everything. everything. Mm -hmm. You have to completely sacrifice every single thing. And I think that what the, the re-messaging that we as mothers need to have and gravitate to is that you have to take care of yourself in order to have the alignment and the power to take care of others at the capacity that we do because it fills the well. Mm -hmm. what, what I believe that I do takes so much energy, so much work from heart, spirit, and creativity that I have to be responsible enough to take care of me, because you know what happens? Imbalance comes and you know what happens? I look to you, Willow, and I say, Willow, you've got to do this, because if you don't, you become, <laughs> you become, I start looking towards you. I start making you responsible for my happiness. And a lot of times, you know what we do? We look to our men, we look to our husbands and our boyfriends, and we go, you, I've given all this up for you, and you've got to make this right by me, and you're supposed to make me happy. Because we've lost our way on how to make ourselves happy. We lost our way. So what I had to do and what I had to learn was how to get more balance. And over the years, each year, each day, I get more and more and more and more in balance. More and more and more in alignment. And you know what? 
I get more and more happy. And the very thing that I thought would make you unhappy or make Jaden unhappy or make daddy unhappy actually is fulfilling for you guys as well. Even though you might, it might not be a tangible reason, but the more happy I am and the more fulfilled I am, it works for the family. And when I'm not, it doesn't. It's really that simple. You know, so I know that, that, uh, that was a very long answer. <laughs> Because what goes down to is when <laughs> mama's unhappy, everybody's Everybody, unhappy. Right, that's right. But that I have to be responsible for my own happiness, yeah, and in order to be absolutely. responsible for my own happiness, I've got to create new messaging. And I, I look at I look at women, I look at mothers, mm -hmm. and I really feel like there's a lot of unhappiness going on. It's because of the messaging that we've gotten. That you're a bad yeah. mother. You're a bad mother if you do anything that makes you happy. You better be at home and at every single moment, don't you take your eyes off that kid, th those children of yours. And that's the messaging. That is the messaging. And that messaging will drive somebody crazy. You have a right to be happy. To be happy. And your happiness is what fuels you from the inside. Absolutely.